Hi, I'm Jason Clemens. I'm here to, again, show another technique using the Donald Scott carving comb. So I'm going to take a different approach and use the carving comb because of the texture that it provides and really give a new updated look to the, the traditional long layer. I'm going to start out, I've already prepped the hair. Uh, I prepped the hair with Paul Mitchell Quick Slip and then I also used Avapui Moisture Mist to keep this hair nice and moist as I'm getting ready to cut. I prepped the hair and sectioned it off as you can see by taking clips. I sectioned the back off in eight sections so that this is done um, for me so that when I'm ready to go to the next step, I already have each section sectioned off so that I can just move on to the next step. It makes a long haircut much easier when you don't have to fumble around with all that long hair. I'm gonna start out in this keystone area or this front section. And because Mo's given me the uh, authority to take this front shorter than I do the back, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and create a design line or an area of length that I'm gonna create in here. I'm just gonna take a focal point right at the bottom of the lip, the top of the chin. I'm gonna go ahead and go with my carving comb and just this nice stroking motion. Go ahead and I'm locking in and I'm just stroking that out. I'm gonna stroke that out until I break through. Once I break through, I'm done with that section. So as I move on, each section beyond that, I'm just gonna bisect this section and I'm going to bring that hair up to the center section and by bringing that hair up to the center I'm actually making sure that everything that's below it is still going to stay long. Distance creates length so if I drag hair from lower up towards me it's going to be longer but it's also going to give me the frame around the face because when it swings back it's going to be in the right area. Next section same exact thing pulling that hair up right to the center over to the left now what I'm going to make sure that I do is I comb on this side that I'm cutting because I always want to comb my hair into my guide. That way I have a nice balance between my left and my right. Come over the top. I saw my guide drop and I'm just stroking through. Comb all the way from the part. Coming down through. Nice even strokes. So that's just going to give me a nice little frame around the face because if she's going to wear this off to the side, it's going to give me the layering that I'm looking for. You can start to see that serration that's in there. My sides here, and doing the same exact thing. I'm gonna pull this hair out, and because I have this stationary guide right here in the center, I'm bringing everything up to that. When I bring everything up to that, it creates a longer distance on the side. So again, bringing that hair up, seeing my guide and stroking right through. So we just continue to move on and I'm done with this left side. I'm actually going to be pulling the last section up and again we're going back to that center and every time I drag all of this hair towards that center I'm actually maintaining the length and I'll show you a visual as soon as I drop this, as I stroke through and I take off that hair, you can see we're maintaining all of that length, but we're giving a nice little visual of the layers that we're putting in there. On the other side, you can actually get a nicer visual of this. Nice vertical sections, pulling that hair up into the center. I can see my guide, my guide's right there behind, and I'm just going to go through and stroke that through. The higher you elevate this, the longer you're going to leave the length. The lower you elevate this, the more length you're going to take off. So I think if you keep that as a, as a key point, you will be able to create amazing long layered haircuts. Okay, so we're done with the front, and I'm going to move into the back, and as my assistant put in these sections, it pre-sets up the look so that I can just move on from the center, move to the right or to the left based on that same guide. I don't have to retake or follow a guide 
my guide is always right here in the center. So as I comb this hair out, I see my guide, my guide is here, and then I can just start to stroke out towards the length, maintaining that length on the bottom. Doing the same exact thing that we did in the front, using that same guide on top. I'm gonna comb this hair back, a little bit of moisture, and I'm just gonna have my assistant go ahead and spray it down that whole right side. That way I can continue to move on at a, at a steady pace. And again, just stroking through, releasing some of that weight and allowing that to drop. And right when I hit this corner, I'm going to kind of over direct this because I want to make sure that I maintain all that weight over the ear. If you look at a person's hairline, it actually takes a little jut upwards before it drops back down. So if I pull that hair back over that, I'm actually lending myself a little bit more weight down in those corners that are created in the hair. Same exact thing, a little over direction, maintaining the weight in the front, combing this hair back, picking up that same guide. Again, this really sets me up to win because I always go back to that original guide. So even though the sides might not be exactly even because I am using a carving tool, uh, they are gonna be balanced. And balance is definitely what we're looking for in long and short looks. So again, I see my guide, I start to stroke through. And again, I'm gliding right through this hair, removing that bulk and creating long layers. So you can see here, I'm actually creating a lot of movement in there and really exposing a lot of that curl that she has in her hair where before you couldn't see any of that because it was just all one length. Moving on here to my left hand side and again, as always, comb on the side that I'm going to cut, not on the side that I've already cut. That way I definitely have balance and because I'm going back in and using that same guide, I'm always going to have an even look when I'm done. I'm actually going to do it in two sections just so that I'm not trying to hold all this hair in one section. I'm going to come in, grab my guide. Once I see my guide, I'm going to go ahead and stroke right through. Once I get to that bottom, I'm going to go ahead, take away some of this hair on the top, and I'll finish going through just by seeing that guide move. Same exact thing, stroking through, removing that weight. Long layered haircut, but taking a different approach, using a great tool. Carving comb is really unparalleled in the industry, making sure that I have my guide from that top section. My guide is there. Start to stroke out some of that weight. And as I drop, moving further away from the head. The further away from the head I am, the more I know that uh, I'm going to maintain that length. And again, as I spin her around, you can see the release of all that weight, but yet I haven't disturbed that one length look that she has when this hair is blown out dry and blown out straight. So there we have it, a new spin on an old classic, long layer haircut. So using the Donald Scott carving comb, I uh, used only the open carve side, but with the teeth, it actually draws hair into the blade so I can take long strokes. That new spin on an old classic, long layer haircut, uh, really lends itself to, to show that you can take a new tool like the carving comb, like the TDS twist, and the DSX-4 and really just incorporate some of the new techniques that we're using and really put a, a nice spin on an old classic. That long layered haircut uh, that I created with the use of this took this long one length hair and really transformed it into something that's new, fun, it's very sexy. My model loves it. She wanted to give me a hug right after I got done and I think that's what we're all looking for. We want fans of ours in the salon. Uh, so I think that doing something like this 
really gives a lot of versatility. I mean, this is fun, it's beachy, it's definitely salon friendly. Uh, this can be for a model or a mother of four.